Today we're going to be going over the Tandem Cross Sentinel stainless steel guy rod for the Taurus TX-20 team. And that's coming up next year on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. So what we're going to do, just like we've done on all these tandem cross parts, I'm going to take it over to the table, tell you some features about it. I'm going to put it in. We're going to take it outside and fire it and see how I like it. So let's get started. This upgraded dual recoil spring gives the overall guide rod assembly long lasting durability, performance, or the factory spring. The steel guide rod ensures long life and it helps reduce the binding by giving the spring a smooth wear resistant surface to glide over. The built in buffer helps increase the life of your slide by softening the impact of the slide reciprocating back and forth. Now, the one bad thing about this is it does not work with the competition model, but if you get a hold of Tandem Cross, they might be able to make you one for it. This thing is an easy drop-in replacement, and it's made in the USA with a lifetime guarantee. Now, like they say, this is just an easy drop-in part. You guys can see there what it looks like. I love that it has a built-in buffer on that. That helps protect the gun. The end of it looks great, too. I like that showing out the side there. So one thing I, this is also going to help with, too, even though 22 don't have a lot of recoil, the weight of this is heavier than the factory one, so it's going to help keep the front end of your muzzle down. So, enough talking about it. Let's get outside and fire it and see how we like it. All right, now we're outside on this really humid day here. Well, you can see we got the recoil spring and guide rod assembly in on this. So, what I figured is we put about 100 rounds through it, see how it works. The first mags I'm going to be using are going to be loaded with Federal, and everything after that is going to be Winchester White Box. So, if I have any issues, with the Winchester white box in it, if everybody knows it could be that, but that's all I brought out with me. I thought I grabbed another box of Federal, but it wasn't. All right, first magazine here is Federal Auto Match. And what do you guys say? We just rip through the mag and see what it does here. All right, perfectly fine with that magazine. Put another one in and do some transitions. All right, I think we got a bad round. Reset it here, see if it fires. All right, all those went with no problem except for a little hiccup with the ammo. Let's load the mags back up and try it again. All right, everybody, we've got the last magazine in. We're going to try this out here. Just see what it does. I'm going to rip through it again and see what it does. Good old Winchester ammo. Got to love it. See if I can get a reset there. We'll just get rid of that round. All right, guys. You can see absolutely no issues except for the, that Winchester white box. I do not like that ammo at all. But as for the recoil spring and guy rod, you can see that worked just fine. Highly recommend it. So I really do like this recoil guide rod system with the buffer system in there. It's protecting the gun from beating the crap out of itself. The added weight of it keeps the front end down. So far, I'm really liking it, just like everything else I've had from Tandem Cross. It's made in the USA, lifetime guarantee, so if you ever got an issue with it, get a hold of them. They'll send you out another one. I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check it out. As you know, I got it in the kit. I'll leave a link to the kit, and then I'll also leave a link to the guide rod for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are One Nation Under God, and I'll see you all on the next one.